Hello, and welcome to Let's Talk Bible. I'm Sonny Childs. Well, here I am, I don't know, somewhere a couple hours south of Memphis, I think, on my way home from another speaking engagement. Let's Talk Bible. I was in a debate with a Calvinist recently, and uh, asked him a question that uh, every Calvinist wants to avoid. And that is this, do you really believe that babies are going to end up in hell because of the original sin of Adam? Of course, they, they really dance around that particular question. That puts them in a hot seat. That puts them in a really difficult position. When you think about their doctrine of total depravity, they, they present that as if that's some kind of grand scheme or grand conclusion that gives God ultimate credit for all things. Problem is, if you extrapolate that out to its furthest conclusion, I think it also has to suggest that if God chose us before we were ever created as to whether or not we would spend eternity with him or without him, being the elect, then he intentionally created people to go to hell. And I'm told that people go to hell because of sin. Does that make God guilty of creating sin? That's a whole other debate. In this little debate that I had with this, this Calvinist when I asked him that question about whether or not he really believed that babies go to hell, he sent me a cute little prepackaged meme because, you know, that's the way they do. They expect that other humans, other men have already answered this particular question, so they don't need to go there. Let's just trust in what somebody else has said. It's the Westminster Confession, and uh, it reads as follows. Uh, elect infants dying in infancy are regenerated and saved by Christ through the Spirit, who worketh when and where and how he pleaseth. And, of course, it goes on to say other things. But uh, that was enough for me to see that there are at least three things are wrong with that approach to answering a very legitimate question. Number one, it depends primarily on man's doctrine. You'll notice that there's a slew of passages listed at the bottom of uh, that Westminster Confession. I'll deal with that in just a second. But it is, believe me, rooted specifically in man's doctrine. That's a major mistake. You don't start with what man wants and then make the Bible fit it. That's Calvinism. Number two. It uh, offers no biblical foundation, no biblical authority for the statement that the Westminster Confession makes. Again, you say to yourself, well, what about all those passages at the bottom of the screen? I challenge you, I beg you, read every one of them. Not one of them addresses infant salvation. The only one that even comes close is the Luke 1, chapter chapter 1, verse 15. It's clearly talking about John the Baptist, his encounter with the Holy Spirit prior to his birth because he was specifically selected uh, you got to be careful using that and applying it across the board to all children. Um, this idea that somehow God saves a child in the womb from the sin the, of, that Adam committed, hmm, boy, that's, a, that's a really a stretch. And, and it's not even answered by this particular presentation because if you'll notice the very first two words of the Westminster Confession, what are the first, first two words? Elect infants. And then he goes on to describe what happens to those elect infants. In other words, if you're not an infant that was elected, yes, you burn in hell. And so they didn't even answer the question. Do you really believe, Calvinists? Do you really believe that babies are going to be destined for hell because they inherit the sin of Adam, the original sin? Do you really believe that God pre-designed before they were ever created he pre-chose, pre-desired that they would burn in hell. Is that what you're telling me? Can't buy that. I just can't buy that. And there are many reasons. I need you to read Luke chapter, excuse me, John chapter 3 and verse 16, probably the most familiar passage in all the Bible. Luke chapter 18, verses 16 through 17. Matthew chapter 18, verses 2 through 5. Ezekiel 18. Read these passages and then get back with me and explain to me how when the Bible blends, you take the entirety of the Bible, you allow the harmony of Scripture to come about how the doctrine of total depravity, babies burning in hell because they weren't elected, how those can possibly be supported. Again, I'll read them to you. John 3, 16, Luke 18, 16 through 17, Matthew 18, 2 through 5, and Ezekiel chapter 18. I really struggle with those who would concoct such doctrines and then try to dance around it with things such as the Westminster Confession. Be wary of Calvinistic false teachers. I hope you have a good day. 
This is Sonny Chow signing off somewhere, I don't know, middle Mississippi, I think. And uh, be there, Matthew 16, 26. We are the Sonny Chows and Family Ministries, serving as missionaries to this great nation. Please pray for us and consider adding us to your missions giving.